Hello, this is HC Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII! Can Squall make it back to the ship in time? What can we do if he does? Hot women with machine guns. <laughs> How do you beat that? I mean, he's just with machine guns. <laughs> I just find that hilarious. It just, like, comes out of freaking nowhere, like... Oh yeah, now we're gonna bring the gun. Like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, I love this game. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, you're not beating that. It's not happening. Yay, we made it back in time. Oh, they're just gonna do it on the world map now? We can't afford another FMV? Oh well. Yeah, I suppose they overloaded us with the FMVs, and, uh... Oh, yeah, we just happened to live on the island right next to the place that we were working at. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> I'm sure they're not gonna, you know, strike back at us at all. Yay, we made it back alive. And the disciplinary committee is here. Now, I always thought... I suppose they never really say, but I always thought they were kind of a, a self-appointed disciplinary committee, you know? Like, they weren't, like, it wasn't like Sid appointed them and that's why they're there. I always thought it was something that they were just BSing people to push people around or something like that. And I don't know. But, I mean, that was my impression. I could be wrong. Well, at least we made it all back in one piece. Uh, he's over there uh, warming up the car, I guess. Okay, let's, uh, Get back to the garden then, and we're free to go. Move along. Let's just, uh, hitch a ride back and, uh... Hey! Where you going? You jerk. Yeah, really? Okay, I guess we get to walk back, I guess. But as long as we're relaxing here in Balam, let's play some Triple Triad! It's a huge side quest mini game card game. I actually really like it. It's probably one of the few things. Oops, wrong way. It's probably one of the few things that I like about this game better than Final Fantasy IX, actually. I mean, it's simple, easy to learn, and has some practical rewards. I mean, believe me, there are some great rewards for playing the game. I played this game for like 20 hours before going on the first mission. Uh, but still, I got a lot of help from the card pack on Game Facts, so I've listed it there in the video description for your reference. So, to uh, start this side quest, let's challenge the Queen of Cards to a game. To start a game, you talk to someone with the square button, and hit yes, and we can go. Now, I'm going to take the first game a little slow, just to make sure you understand what's going on. Um, oh, we got the difference trading rule. Uh, I'll go over that later, but our regional rule for Balam is open. What that means is that everyone can see everyone else's cards. Uh, let's see. I don't even really care about the cards I'm, I've got here. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Okay. Now, you see, I can see my opponent's cards. She can see mine. Uh, this is actually very good for you because everyone can see everyone's cards, so you can just plan your moves in advance and overpower your opponent. Now, you see the numbers on the cards, like with the Ifrit card there? Uh, the 8 on the Ifrit card refers to its power on its left side. The way you play the game is, well, they went first, so they played a card. So let's play our own card. Uh, let's see. Let's play something a little weak. Um... Yeah, yeah, let's go with that one. Put that one there. So basically, you see how on the that card's left side was a 3. On the right side, I had a 1. The 3 is greater than the 1, so they flipped over my card. Now what I want to do is get my card back. So let's play the bomb card here. The 6 will overpower the 2, and I get it back to even the score. So let's see what else, what other moves I can do here. Um, let's go with a 6 here. Yeah, yeah, that ought to do. Keep them from getting me there. And now I can place my Ifrit card, overpower that, and they can't take their card back. So basically, I will have more cards by the end of the game, and we win. Yay! So now, 
because we use the difference trading rule, I can select the difference between our scores. Six minus four is two, so I get two cards. Uh, do I care for any of these cards? No, not, no, not really. Uh, maybe a grass and, uh, I don't know. Uh, and a condor. Whatever. I don't even care about any of these cards. But yeah. So, I mean, that's kind of the point of playing the card game. So that way you can uh, win some of those cards there. And you expand your collection in that manner. Now, let's check uh, if the difference rules spread throughout this region here. Just because she was using it doesn't mean the trade rules spread around. So let's see. Yes, it's spread around. Okay. Sometimes if you play against her, it'll change the trading rule. So, and it'll spread throughout the region. Sometimes it won't. So what you want to do is challenge the Queen of Cards over and over and over again. And just quit. You don't have to actually finish the game. Until she uses the difference trading rule. Then check with this guy to see if it's spread throughout the region. You want the difference trading rule? because uh, you don't want the all trading rule when you win all of your opponent's cards because that rule will sometimes degenerate into the direct rule which is really bad because you trade cards based on which cards you flipped so it can be hard to win cards and it can be hard to keep your good cards sometimes so that can be pretty bad uh let's see is there anything else i wanted to go over i'm just looking at some notes here i got no no i don't think so i think i went over everything so, um, the other thing I wanted to go over, though, was with Quetzalcoatl. The whole reason that we're playing the card game is for card mod, which I'm eventually going to learn. Uh, the nice thing about card mod is that it refines items from your cards. So, uh, well, I can't do demonstrate that right now, but you can get some really, uh, well, not really rare items, but uh, you can refine or modify cards into items and then refine those uh, items into magic. Like there's an Abyss Worm card. It's a level 3 card, really easy to get, and you can refine it into a windmill with card mod. Then use Thunder Magic Refine to refine the windmills into tornadoes. Really early in the game, an excellent junctioning spell. That takes uh, too long for my taste, but it's something you can do to become really powerful really early in the game. But in order to speed up the process, we want to get some rare cards. So let's go ahead and do that. I could have already gotten some other rare cards earlier, but I figured, well, it's more convenient to do it now. So let's do it now. I mean, that's just me. Whatever. Wow, what a jerk, Zell. Now, Zell's mom has a rare card that I want, but she won't have it, I think, until after you complete the Delet mission. So, now's the time we can do that. So let's challenge her. There we go. Now, she has some level 5 cards. So, you know, you may want to try to win some of those before, uh, you know, getting the rare card, actually. Uh, let's see. Let's go with that for now. Whatever. I'm not really worried about it. Okay, now, like, some of the rare cards that I want to get, uh, one of them is Marlboro, which, well, you can see it right there. Uh, let's see. I can't use that. That would be bad. Um, let's use this one. The reason why... Oh, I didn't even think about trying to win that, actually. I wasn't trying to. Uh, what I wanted to do was put a card that was something that would be easy for me to take back when they flip it. So I put the ones right next to each other, and, oh, ah, well, this is unexpected. I, I wasn't exactly planning on doing it quite this way, but, okay, fair enough. But, yeah, I mean, basically, just play it like this. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't want to get hit here, so let's do that. All right, we got a couple rare cards. So let's take Iron Giant, Marlboro. That's a really good card to take. Um, another one that's pretty good is Elastoid, but Iron Giant's pretty good. So let's beef up our collection and try again to uh, win that rare card from her, if I can. Okay, I took a moment to win some level 5 cards off screen because uh, Zell's mom is very good for doing that. She plays a lot of level 5 cards, so it can help beef up your collection for winning the rare card that you really want. She doesn't always play it, but she's playing it this time. Yes. Okay, uh, this is doable. Um, let's 
play something, he can, or she can flip any card that I've got. So, oh well, that's that's no good. Let's do that. Let's see what I can do. Uh, wow, this isn't going ex exactly as I planned. Now I've also listed some miscellaneous cards that I want to get in the video description there. Uh, don't go out of your way to get them. Just, you know, pick them up as you're ver winning various rare cards as we go along, which I'll be doing more of next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.